The goal here is to settle this without going to court. I know none of us want to hash this out in a public venue. Oh, you mean like a press conference? Miss Harris, please. I'd like us to observe the spirit of compromise. Let's try to remember you're all here because you love PJ. Mr. Tramble, can you start us off? Thank you, Judge Stanton. Every medical expert we've spoken with agrees. Pernell Harris Jr.'s brain activity is far below the threshold for sustaining life. Even though he shot himself, he is still breathing. He's not breathing. It's a machine. We have our experts, too. Pernell, let me handle this. They say that that bullet was one millimeter away from killing PJ instantly. Pernell. One millimeter. That's God's work. You're out of your mind. Pernell, you need to let Mr. Tramble finish. You want him to be quiet? She won't shut up. Let's all be quiet. Tell her to Pernell, stop you will get your chance. You keep on calling him Pernell. I... Well, did you want me to call you Nick? No, we're not friends. You and Mr. Harris are. Is that going to be a problem for you? I mean, if he'd been holding the gun with two hands... No, I can't. If he'd been standing instead of sitting, he'd be dead by now. I mean, it's a miracle he's even in a coma. Mr. Well, I'm Harris, curious, please. Mr. Harris, how would you define alive? The quest for fulfillment, the pursuit of happiness, that certainly doesn't apply to PJ. Is that really necessary? Fine. We'll stick to the medical definitions. No sign of corneal reflex. No reaction to oculovestibular tests. Minimal respiratory His efforts. His heart is beating. When I hold his hand, I can feel his pulse. When I sing to him, I know he can hear me. I, I don't know what an ocular, whatever that test is. I know my son's alive. Well, that's very powerful, Mrs. Harris. But a mother's intuition carries no weight in the courtroom. Pernell? Heartless piece of shit. Sit down. All right, that's it. We're done here. 